back from the long weekend, and there are no new deaths due to COVID-19 in Alberta, but there are 33 new cases province-wide, bringing up the total to over 1,000 active cases. Now, the province says they will continue to provide additional funding for care workers. In her address today, Dr. Dina Henshaw is saying she's been receiving a lot of questions about how Sweden's been responding to COVID-19 and whether or not Alberta will be taking a similar approach. The operators have rightly raised concerns about the costs of complying with public health orders that we put in place. So today I'm announcing funding of more than $14 million per month or $170 million per year. As of yesterday, their toll was 3,698 deaths. That is 36 deaths per 100,000 in their population, which is 12 times Alberta's rate of 3 per 100,000 population. In Sweden, there has been a cost of higher death rates. In Alberta, as elsewhere around the world, there has been a cost of temporary restrictions on some freedoms.